What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinists as we continue our live coverage of IMTS 2024. Now, if you know me, you know that I am a wire guy. I'm not a sinker guy, but I'm gonna try to learn. We're gonna check out some stuff here at MC Machinery. I'm joined by the subject matter expert and the man of the hour, Adam. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you very much for uh, having us today. Yes, sir. Now I'm seeing a lot of smoke pop out of this thing. I'm excited. Tell us a little bit about what this machine is and what makes it special. So this is a sinker EDM machine. Uh, what it does is it takes a graphite electrode or it could be a copper electrode or anything like that. And it'll burn anything metallic, right? So we make a reverse of the image and then we burn it into this steel. Anything, uh, uh, injection molded stuff like that we're going to be able to you know put small cavities in sharp corners that sort of thing very big for the diamond mold industry yeah. the nice thing about this is you can do like you say those sharp corners that you yes, can't mill very very accurate yes very repeatable as long as you're staying on top of your electrodes that's right so i'm gonna grab this right now if that's okay mm -hmm. i believe this is graphite is that's it right that's right so this is what we're burning in there today. So you would do this on a mill first, correct? Yeah, so we have a special graphite mill that has completely sealed ways and bearings. It has a nice dust collector in there that collects all the graphite in there. So a lot of people don't want to machine the graphite in their shop, right? Because it's messy and it's uh, detrimental to the different machines. It's better to have a machine that is specialized it's for It's dedicated. Because like you say, yep. once it's set up, it goes. That's right, that's right. So how big is that table on that? That's a fairly large Yeah, work so area. this is about uh, 30 by 20 travel. And we could fit a larger part, or we could do different stuff with different holders to increase that. Uh, this is one of our larger sinkers, the SG28. So a large format, and this gets into like turbine work. You could fit a lot of different fixtures on there for production and stuff like that. Ah, that's yep, the trick. Yep. Now here's one question I do have for you though. Typically, I see the electrode on the ramp, yep. which is the top part. Yep. It looks like the electrode is actually on the table in this case. Yeah, so what we're doing here is we're trying to show people that you can you can reverse the flow of the electricity basically you can put your part inside of your head and then have your electrode on your table and like what you see there it's a multi-sided electrode so then we can use the c-axis and we can have different operations on the same ah, part too so this is the part we're actually doing with that electrode yep. it looks like yep so very, one very side looks like that clean. Yes. oh yeah so what happens, it'll actually burn through and then it'll orbit around a little bit to clean out those corners. Uh, so, it has so down and that's right. kind of. Yep. Down, that's a very technical case, term. Yeah, yes. Down <laughs> and sideways, yeah, exactly. Yep. Now, do you see a lot of guys doing that right now in terms of putting the electrode on the table? Or is this kind of, if not a new thing, depending on the people may not be aware of? Well, because you can, you, know, you can make a bunch of fixtures and hold small parts, let's say, and you can put those parts inside your tool changer and then it makes it just a better way, uh, easier to automate. You can get many uses out of electrodes like this sometimes, and so you can. it's easier to just to change your parts out of your tool changer that Because way. one of the biggest advantages of any kind of EDM, whether it's wire or sink, to me it's always kind of been the original lights out machining. That's right, that's They're right. They're not always the fastest way to do something. When you need to do it, you do mm -hmm. it. But my favorite thing to do was always set up the wire machine right at the end of the day, let it run overnight, come back in the morning, run it again. I agree, same thing. Same thing with the sinker EDM, you wanna let it run as long as you can. You know, you set, up, set it up and you try to get all your electrodes done and get it set up and let it run overnight while you're not there. So. Now, this thing's exciting, but I see something over there I'd like to take a look at. Yes, you sir. Mind if we take yeah, a look? Yeah, let's take a look. As we pass, of course, you guys do have, I believe that's a wire. Wire, yeah, and, and we can automate any of our machines, right? They're all interfaceable with any kind of automation. Like this machine right here, we have a, a robot on there that actually will feed our graphite mill and then as well. So we have a robot in the center here and it's gonna machine the electrodes on this side and then it'll actually do the parts over here. This is a full, <laughs> I almost want to call it like it's making the ammo over here yeah. and it's putting them in the chamber over here. That's right. Funny you should say that because we have a, a bullet die demonstration over here, right? So this is what we're doing. We have we start off with a solid carbide blank like that and then we rough it out on the sinker. So this is a carbide blank and we're doing uh, copper tungsten electrodes. So we leave about 3,000 finish on there and then we put it back into our Roku Roku machine. It has a super high uh, accuracy, super high RPM spindle and we get that finish on there. So hold on, that thing is both doing the electrodes when we want it to and it's also finishing yeah, the part. It can go back and forth. It yeah. is just as multi-purpose as you can. And That's that right. finish on there is oh, just looks like ridiculous. a mirror. Yeah. With the diamond tooling in there, the machines are amazing. Because those who don't know, machining carbide, usually carbide is the thing you use 
two machine. That's right. That's right. Yep. Absolutely insane. Yep. Now I'm going to ask a bit of a silly question here. Yes, sir. On the machine over there, we kind of saw a yellowish oil in mm -hmm. it. This one's green. Is there a difference? It's just a different manufacturer and it's just the different particulates that they put in the inside the oil that give it that color. So it's, it's that, and that helps with the conductivity of it as well as the finishing. So. And on that tool holder, again, I'm not the mm -hmm. most familiar with Sync EDM, so this is yep. educational for me. That looks like a standard, almost ER collet style it's holder. It's exactly what it is. Yep, it's a collet style holder. I'll grab one for you to look at here. And that thing is just feeding down in there, it looks like. That's quite impressive. Ah, okay. So that's exactly what it looks like. So it's just an ER style, ER32 collet. Everybody has some of those laying around. And then with, that's nice because we can make those on center then. And you can oh, actually absolutely. spin these electrodes if you wanted to. You could put them on a lathe and manufacture them. Ah. Now, I wanted to actually, since we have this out, I would like to take a mm -hmm. look in this here. This yes, is sir. the automation yep. option for this. Yep. Ah. <laughs> like so, I said, you're making the ammo. Yeah. There's literally a bunch of them ready to go. That's right. That's right. So we, we machine all those earlier and then we pick them up. We have our parts up here on the top and then with this robot, it'll actually articulate so we can load a chuck on the table over there as well as a chuck, you know, on either machine. Jeez. So we, it, it'll feed both of these machines. There's also tools on the back side of this too. Oh, come on. 106 locations on here. So you can literally, I see, obviously we have, like you said, yep. the work pieces up here. We got the dies down here. Yep. You also have other stuff down yeah, here. Yeah, different jobs. You can have it all staged through. This is the way you'd set it up to run like through the weekend or a long, a long you know, vacation, something like right, that. Right, so we're not stuck doing just that one part. If we mm -hmm. wanted to, we could have five different jobs in there, That's material right. ready to go yes, and sir. everything we need. Yep. Now, I'd like to take a look at what we got over here. Yep. This is what's actually doing the, the milling on there. Yep. That looks like a little five axis trunnion on there. Yep, so we have A, B axis set up on here. So this is really nice for doing, you know, your multi-axis electrodes, stuff like that. Uh, this machine here, it's our Roku Roku, a 32,000 RPM spindle, completely sealed bearings. Uh, all the waves are completely sealed and it's exchanging the air in there six times a minute. And that's important because carbide, while well, it comes out, or sorry, uh, graphite, while well, it's a very nice material when it comes yep. out to go in the machine, you don't really want to breathe, breathe it in. Well, it'll, not only that, it'll create, it's like a la lapping compound for your ball screws. It'll wear them out pretty quick. Yeah. Lapping compound sounds great on a nice surface, not so nice <laughs> nah, No, sir, no, sir. Now, I wanted to take a look. I saw a mill over there that really caught my eye. Okay. Mind if we take yes, so this is another one of those machines that's really set up for car uh, for graphite. I keep yeah. calling it carbide because I saw it <laughs> over there. Yep. So what do we got here? This is an Eagle V9. Eagle V9, so this is our full five axis machine and this can be set up in either a wet configuration like we have here or a dry with a dust collector like that, that over there. So a full five axis. Uh, Nice big tools, but we can do, this is nice. You can do hard milling on here, but the full five axis really What, uh, what speed is that spindle? Uh, this one is uh, 15,000 on this particular oh, lots, one. Yeah. Lots yep. of room in there. And yep. I see this comes with a hide and hand control. There's a hide and hide on these ones. Hide that's and right. hide, yep. my apologies. That's right. Oh, that's gorgeous. You can see in there that, oh, wow. That's a putter you guys are making. Yeah, we're there. making some golf clubs over here. And if you can sink three putts, you can take the, the golf club home with you. <laughs> so of course you should come and check out the MC Machinery booth. There's still lots of time left in the show here at IMT IMTS 2024. Adam, thank you very much yeah. for being our guide today. Hey, thanks for coming by. And we make sure it. you guys stay tuned as we continue our live coverage of IMTS 2024. Thank you very much for watching guys. You take